Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. It's Friday evening, just heading out on the bike, obviously. It's Friday night, chain gang night. Now, numbers have tailed off in our club on chain gang night this year for some reason. Not really getting many people out, so we'll see who turns up tonight, but the weather is good. So hopefully we get a good turnout, enough to do an actual chain rather than just like a through and off. Now, I've got a gilet and arm warmers in my pocket and I'm going to put them on when I get to the meeting point because it is not warm. And I forgot to bring my glasses. Now, I'm about halfway between home and the meet point and if I went home, I'd miss the group. So I'm going to have to commit to, I don't know, squinting, hoping there's not many flies out. I'm sure the wind at 25, 30 miles an hour will be interesting, but we'll see how we get on. These things happen, don't they? And then when I get back, we're going to talk about, I want to give them a shout out or mention to a few blogs and other things from people from my man Wales that you might not have seen. And what else? I wanted to talk about my current thoughts about next season, specifically what I'm going to focus my efforts towards, because I feel like I'm getting there. So more on that later. Have I got a sweet comment too? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, right, done and dusted. Stats on screen. I'm looking at them now. They're one hour and 40. Just under 20 miles an hour. Normalized 287 watts, uh, 33 miles. Training stress score of 105. That was a good ride. I felt really good until I didn't feel good. When I was doing efforts, I felt okay, but then like the minute or two after the effort, it was like, oh, lactic, and it wasn't so good. So I know I've still got some fatigue in my legs, but I was actually feeling okay. A few things to talk about tonight. First of all, was a little, you've got your mouth full of food, so I'm not going to, you're actually double parked. What on earth is going on? <laughs> anyway, as I left the house tonight, Liz was warming up. And there's a lot of groaning coming from the living room. <laughs> you were doing a Joe Wicks video, weren't you? <laughs> Liz is committed to doing how many workouts a week from Joe Wicks? I'm not committed to You're not committed to any, just doing some. Mm. Got it. Okay, good. I'm really glad I got that mat out of the garage for you and you haven't used mm. it. I used it today. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so ride done and dusted. I'm going to talk about I'm on Wales, other media and other people who have done things that might be worth a read or a watch. So... Uh, Lewis Bradley runs a YouTube channel called Lewis Bradley Films. I'll leave a link to all these things we're going to talk about in the description down below. He did the race in 12 and a half hours-ish. His first Ironman, brilliant result. He was a mountain biker a few years ago, so he's absolutely had a cracking debut at Ironman Wales. Great little channel. Please do check out his race day video, which is now live. Uh, Ollie Simon, one of the best age group triathletes in the country, I think. He's written a blog about his race where he actually got into some of the pro field as well because he's a super strong athlete. That's worth a read. Finn Orenz has also written a blog. He is a pro athlete and was in the pro field. That's also worth a read. And then Harry Palmer, you've probably already seen his video, but he has finally put a video out from Wales. Thank God. Um, and um, there's a guy called the Camera Guy UK. Now, I know I didn't actually manage to meet this person in Wales, but he took a lot of photos. So if you could message him, he's probably got some photos of you. I think he is uploading them all to a website or his Instagram. But if he hasn't got around to doing that, message him with your N uh, race number if you did the event, and he will probably have some photos of you. He might not be able to find them with you on the bike, depending on how he's organised them, I don't know, but um, yeah, worthwhile. He's also set up a YouTube channel. I'm not sure what his plans are with his YouTube channel, but he's going to try, from what I understand, he's trying to start a photography business, and particularly in the triathlon world, so hopefully we'll see some more of him at races in the future. Now, I said earlier on that I was going to talk about my thoughts for next year in a bit more detail, and I don't really have an outcome at this point, but I'm trying to involve you or keep you up to date with where my thoughts are because my thoughts are developing week to week. So a few weeks ago, or a couple of months ago, in fact, I'd come to the conclusion that next year I wanted to focus on something. I didn't know what that was. I was swaying towards bike racing, but I wasn't quite sure. I wanted to do some triathlons to be able to be sure. And I, I'm still minded that way, but I'm not particularly swimming around, swinging 100% around to bike racing. My thoughts for next year are, for the last few years, I've wanted to, do triathlon and do bike riding and do loads of different things. And I've always tried to do a lot. So Hope Route, Etape de Tour, Crit Races, triathlons, half distances, full Ironmans, all those sorts of things. And I've never really excelled at any of them. I know that my performances for some people will be 
better than what they could achieve. And for some people, it's a lot worse than they can achieve. So it's all relative, but you know, I don't feel like I've excelled in any one particular discipline. I'm happy with how I performed in all of them. I'd quite like to see how well I could do in a particular discipline if I give myself a full winter to train specifically for it. So if I say, right, I'm going to focus on uh, crit and road racing on my bike next year, then come the beginning of October, my training training is going to be fully focused on crit and road racing so that when I get to the beginning of next year, I can expect to do, a, to do a little bit better. I can't expect to do any better if I don't change what I'm putting into it. Similarly, if I was to say my focus next year is Ironman, then come October, my focus will be around Ironman. So specifically swimming and running being a main area to grow uh, my strengths, but as well as that cycling as well. But I need to come to a conclusion within the next week or so really, because after Outlaw X, I'm going to have a week easy and then I want to be cracking on with training. I'm going to be doing the Send It Squad. The website is currently offline to some essential maintenance. I will fill you in about this um, another day, but it's still going ahead. I just haven't got the website up at the minute. Maybe it is out by the time the video goes out. I don't know, but looking unlikely. Early next week, I think. Uh, but I'll sort of like relaunch it then and rebrief it then. So that's my thought process. Now, I am fully focused on trying to get my swimming better in the next week or so. I'm frustrated because Wales, I don't think, was a, a true reflection on where my swimming is at. It's not at any sort of high level, but it's definitely at a higher level than what I swam in Wales. The conditions were you know, were difficult for me, it was difficult for everybody, but I found them particularly challenging on the first lap. Now that's that click in is the cat. He gets to his cat flap and he clicks it several times until you open the door. He's absolutely little toe rag. Stop that. You. Absolute nightmare. And because Liz and I are weak and get up and open it, he just thinks that he can do that every time because he can, because he's our little, little prince. So yeah, I'm hoping that Outlaw X half distance will be a true reflection on where my swim, bike and run fitness is at. I want to be competitive next year at whatever I do. Now this might, this is only in the amateur ranks, so if it's bike racing, it'll probably be third and fourth cap, maybe a little bit higher on the odd race. If it's in triathlon, Obviously, I'm still going to be an age grouper and I'm still going to be trying to work towards replacing my age group, but I want to feel like I'm more competitive in those races. And the swim for me really holds me back in a triathlon because I'm never in the race. I'm never swimming fast enough to be able to be in the race. Now, maybe that's out of touch for me to do ever, but I want to give a winter of training to that so that if I do try it again and don't get any further, I know that, well, I give it everything. Liz, that is not acceptable. That cat is licking a plate, Liz. So you've been washing it. No. I'll pop it back in the cupboard no, when we're in the kitchen. No, you will not. Don't say things <laughs> like that. So yeah, that's where my thoughts are. I'm not fully decided on whether it's bike racing or whether it's going to be a triathlon just yet. But hopefully after Outlaw X, I will have a real understanding of where my fitness is at. I'm also going to be consulting a coach now. Matt Waterfield, coach would know, has coached me running all this year. And my running has certainly come on, especially off of relatively low volume. It's been great training. However, for many reasons, I'm going to go with a different coach for either way in which I go. Don't look at me like it's some massive announcement. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, lovely. Uh, now Matt knows this. Don't, Rupert, don't. Matt knows this, um, and Linky, I'm going to cover this in more detail in a separate video. But I think that when your friend coaches you, it's good until you become a little bit difficult. So there's definitely times when I should have done sessions that I haven't. And because Matt's my friend, he hasn't like been firm with me or I felt like oh, I can just leave that. So um, as well as that, looking for a bit of road racing and crit specific experience from a coach. Anyway, so from beginning of October, I'm going to be coached. I'm going to have some sort of direction that I don't really know 100% where. I'm going to do Outlaw X and then within a couple of days of that race, I need to be fully decided on what I'm doing because a week after that, I'm going to start training. That was a massive ramble. But thank you very much for listening. I hope that, um, that you got something from that. If you've got any input, please feel free to fire away. I'm not sure what I'd, I'd look to you for, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I also it is in my mind what this channel would like to see. I'm not going to let it steer what I do, but if I'm going to try and make this thing grow, then doing what the channel would like to see would help that. But I'm not just going to do a certain sport because the channel wants to see it. Please don't say you want me to be a swimmer. So that is it, enough rambling. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you at one o'clock tomorrow for some proper triathlon training, but probably an easier day because the day after, 
I've got a race.